Hey everybody, Dan Krause here again. So is it possible to unroll rolled fenders? We're gonna find out. So you can see what's going on here. We're gonna be using this um, tool that I created kind of specifically for this job, honestly. You can see here what's going on. You can see how this matches the shape of the fender perfectly here. So, this is basically going to be a lot of hammer and dolly work. Um, but I'm going to start probably right in here and just start trying to open this back up. It's actually pinched right to um, the outer, the outside. So yeah, the whole lip is um, just flattened and you can see it caused a whole lot of issues. So we are going to do our best to unroll this using that tool that I just showed you. And I'll be using, let's see, be using just a rubber mallet and that tool probably some other little dollies. So let's see what happens. All right, so that was the first pass. So you can see we've got some really nasty bowing going on here, but I did get it all out. Um, and like I said, this inside lip was pinched to the um, inside of the metal there. So it was rolled right up tight to it and uh, it's a good thing I made this because I don't know how else you would have been able to uh, get that out without causing a crazy amount of damage. So, I mean, it's not like you could put, you could, it's not like you could hook like some vice grips or something to it, but it would just made a huge mess. So that was pretty much the only option I had. Now, um, next thing to do here before I straighten this flange all out, is I'm gonna get this fender back in shape. So it's in pretty good right here. Obviously it's out pretty far right here. By rolling the front, it actually um, brought most of that bow in the front in as I drew, as I was drawing this down, this lip down, if that makes sense. So now we just have really this, this back area to work on. And then there's a few other nasty spots in this fender that I'm gonna clean up as well once I get this, um, once I get this all straightened out. So yeah, very happy with, with that for a first pass. All right, so I'm just gonna talk for a second about how I'm gonna approach this thing as far as, you know, this going back in. So what I'm gonna use here, you might say, well, you know, why don't you just put your hammer there and use this like a dolly. That's just gonna um, put a bunch of basically little puncture marks in the paint there. So you need to use something soft here, like a rubber block, like this one. And I'm basically gonna have the rubber block go right here and it's gonna stop 
it's gonna stop right there where it's most indented. Because I can't just tap, I can't just hammer this back in. That's not gonna work. It's gonna bow this this part in further. So what we need to do is hold this just with. I'm just gonna hold this with my hand. Put pressure right there out. You can see how easy it's bowing out. It's not good. But since that lip is all rolled back down, should be able to, with pressure here, push in. I could probably just use my hands. Yeah. So sometimes the best tools are your hands certain situations because I can apply the correct amount of pressure um, and I don't want to hit it with a hammer on this edge too much because um, the edge has obviously been messed with for quite a, quite a while. So all I'm doing is, is this. Probably right here where it's most pushed out, I'll have to tap that in. But the rest of it is quite straight. So let's see what we can do here. I put a block. It is what it is. I'm, I'm gonna have to hit it. So, that's what we've got the touch up paint for. Pretty close. So I've got the black, the end of the black is pretty much right resting right here. I'm just going to put pressure right there. here do the same thing there we go okay so we'll have a look see what that looks like now all right so it's looking a lot better you can see there's just a little bit more I've got to do pushing down right here. But I think I'll start dollying that inside now, and then we'll finish up the final line after that's done. Okay, so here's the second pass on the inside. So now it's just time to get the outside cleaned up. Okay, so there's a few things going on here. 
Um, there's actually a flat spot from here to here, and then from here to here. You can see um, the shape of the fender. And so that flat spot right there, it actually, the fender edge is actually supposed to be up here. So this, um, this area right here, which is all rolled in, see if you can see it, see it right there? That's not going to come out just by pushing this. Um, I'm gonna have to push, let's see if I get closer here. Okay, there we go. So, I will have to push with a block or something right here on the inside and I'll push that and at the same time I'm doing that I'm going to tap up on the on the uh, the uh, edge right here so I'm gonna push out right where that's all sunk in and tap up and that should relieve most of that pressure I'm gonna have to really whack it but the paint's already damaged on the inside. I'm gonna have to touch it up, so whatever. Just go with it. <laughs> but regardless, it has to come up. So that's what we're, that's the plan of attack. If I was to not put pressure right here, and I was to just hit this up, there's a chance. There's a really good chance. I almost guarantee that this is just gonna roll in further. So this dip right here, it's just gonna go in further if I push that metal up. So basically just, it would be like squeezing it together. It's gonna push that way because it's already going that way. If it was obviously, you know, exactly the same situation if it was an Audi or something. If I pushed up there, it's gonna make the Audi worse. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so you can see here, it's a bit ripply through there. And somebody's been in here um, before. So we're just gonna go through and it really just looks like it needs a bunch of knockdown work and just a little bit picking. So we'll get that cleaned up and looking better. And then there's a few dents in the top of the fender. I'm gonna get those fixed too. And then we'll work our way back to the fender and then flip things around and go the other direction. All right, 
Yay, I did it. So, uh, <laughs> only had about six hours into this vendor. Uh, you can see though, guys, all of the hard work paid off. It turned out really good. There was a lot of, uh, some stuff that I, I couldn't quite uh, capture with the camera, but there was a kind of a nasty crease up through here and this fender had built all sorts of tension up through up through here. And uh, that was a real trick to get out. Um, the hardest thing obviously was unrolling these fenders. So we can see here that the liner actually tucks back in right where it's supposed to. When I started this repair, the fender was so blown out that the, the liner was just hanging down here. Looked really bad. So very happy with how that turned out. It was it seemingly, uh, seemed to, to be almost of an impossible repair, but was able to get really good results with a lot of patience. So we'll move on to the left fender. It won't take, I don't think as long. There's a few dents in that, but um, I'll have to unroll that one as well. So here we go.